Welcome back to Mr C's Biology. Um, it's been a while since I posted something, but it's been great to see some new followers. Um, thank you, Ruben. Um, I don't know how you managed to get this to go viral, but it's amazing. And so welcome if you haven't seen uh, one of these videos before. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for being here. Um, today we're going to be talking about homeostasis. I took part in the London Marathon, the virtual London Marathon this morning and ran around where I live in Oxford um, for uh, 42 kilometers. So that was a lot of fun and my body um, worked some magic to make sure that I was the right temperature. So there are a few things that happen when you're, you're exercising. Your body warms up from respiration, it's an exothermic uh, reaction, and then your body has loads of mechanisms to help cool you down. So why does your face go red? Why do you sweat? And why do you need to drink lots of water? So uh, firstly, why does your face go red? That's to do with something called vasodilation. So the blood vessels that normally go uh, around your body, they carry the blood. The blood's really warm, keeps your body warm, keeps the internal organs really warm. When you start to heat up, then actually they need to get rid of some of that warmth so you don't overheat. And so they shunt the blood up to the blood vessels that are closer to the skin. That means that the, the warmth that they carry can be radiated off from the skin into the area around you. And that means that you can lose some of the heat. So you go red because the blood is being shunted, being pushed basically to the closest to the skin and that's how uh, you get rid of it. The opposite is when all the blood from near the skin gets diverted away from it and that's why people go a bit blue when they're really, really cold because they're just trying to keep all the blood near uh, the, the central organs inside and so they want to make sure that the outside stuff doesn't really need it and so you take it away from that and so you look a little bit blue when you're really, really cold. Secondly, why do you sweat? Well, uh, when sweat evaporates, the evaporation is a type of heat transfer, and so it takes the heat away from your body. So it's not just about getting, getting some liquid out of you, but it's about the process of evaporation. So water has this amazing property where uh, it's got these hydrogen bonds, and so when they evaporate, it actually takes quite a lot of energy to make it evaporate, and so that energy means that it takes some heat from you, and so that's why you sweat. Thirdly, why do you need to drink water? Well, there are a couple of reasons. Um, firstly, um, you are going to be losing lots and lots of water through your sweat, but also secondly, it's a good way to cool down the inside of your body. Um, you can often feel when you drink a glass of cold water, you can feel it hit your stomach, you've got some temperature receptors in your stomach, um, but actually it means that inside your body gets cool, and that's the main bit that we want to keep cool. If your heart, your lungs, your digestive system and your brain as well um, start to heat up, that's when the serious stuff happens. If you heat your extremities up, that doesn't make so much difference and we can cope with that quite easily. So that's the basics of homeostasis. Hope that's helpful. If you've got any questions, put them in the comments. I'm happy to answer them and I'll be there. And um, hey, we'll try and make this more regular. I'll try and send you some more videos uh, as and when it comes. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.